Hey guys, so I just made a dish that you guys will probably definitely love. The recipe is super easy and um, it's really a three step ingredient dish, but I added multiple seasoning spices that I have in my pantry. It's a pantry staple dish for me because I had everything in my, my freezer in my pantry. So with that being said, you could tweak it and make it your own way, okay? I amped it up with a lot of vegetables because I don't use a lot of pasta, okay? So, I use just a little pasta, but more vegetables and uh, more protein. So, okay, guys, check it out. I'm coming to you guys with my famous Alfredo salmon Alfredo right here. It's what I'm eating all right now in my bowl. So, okay, okay guys, check it out. so... Here we go. Here we go, right here. And look at that. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lord. <sighs> Y'all, you want, you want this? You want it? Let's get into the video. I'm going to show you what it is. Let's get into the video, okay? Let's get to the video. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. Let's go. Let's do the video. Hey, T-Vlog team. This is T-Vlog back again with another video. How you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful and prosperous day. Thank you guys for tuning back in to see what T-Vlog is doing again. All right. So I'm bringing to you guys another pantry staples. And I have everything that was in my pantry to make this. But, before we get into the video, straighten up my shirt. <laughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell, y'all. Hit a thumbs up. And leave a comment down below, okay? So, today, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm smacking on. I just got through biting on me a couple of little gherkins. Little pickled mini pickles. And they kind of tangy and sweet, too. But they really good, y'all. So, today... Yes, I'm going to bring to you guys how to make my Alfredo sauce. And typically, with my sauce, or basically the Alfredo sauce, homemade Alfredo sauce, not my twist I put on it. Um, typically, it's just actually whipped cream, um, butter, garlic, you know, and salt and pepper. Or other seasons that you may like but your main your major ingredients is your parmesan cheese whipped cream and butter you know which is your major seasons and garlic okay anything after that you want to add to it you can add to it and make it your own okay so let's get into this video and let me show you what seasons that I'm using for my sauce okay and then I'm gonna make some salmon alfredo all right Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So, I got here my seasons here that I'm using for my sauce, okay? But I also got my main bases here, okay? I got my butter right here. I got my Parmesan cheese. I have in this cup here <coughs> some heavy whipping cream, and I mixed it with a little almond milk. And right here is my salmon. It was frozen, but it's thawing out. And so, it's already pre-seasoned, okay? And so, I had, if you want to know what seasons that I use on this here, I use some minced garlic. I had some um, parsley. And I put, like, some uh, Obey seasoning. And I use some cayenne pepper. And I use some smoked paprika and garlic and onion powder. And that's all that's on this salmon. Okay, <clears throat> so I have a bowl here, and y'all know how I do it. So right now, I'm going to show you guys the seasons that I use. Also, I have my pasta here, and I use the fettuccine pasta, but you can use spaghetti pasta. Whatever type of pasta you like that makes your Alfredo, or if you want to just kind of, you know, do it up and make it different, do you, Okay. I'm also going to have vegetables in my Alfredo, so I'm going to chop some of these little um, sweet peppers in there. I'm going to have a couple of these sweet peppers 
and my Alfredo. And then I have my, like I said, my garlic that I chopped up and frozen. I got my garlic, so I'm going to lay that right there. Okay, so right now, I'm going to get together my seasonings into the bowl so it can be already ready. My uh, water is on the stove for it to start boiling. So I have a teaspoon here. It's not a measuring spoon, but I use just a regular teaspoon that you eat with. So I'm putting like, I love garlic, so I'm putting two teaspoons of garlic. One teaspoon of onion powder. One teaspoon of, this is smoke and regular paprika, so it doesn't matter whichever ones you like. But I mix mine and put them in the jars. So I got smoked paprika or regular paprika, either one you got on hand. Remember, I said that this is coming from my pantry because I had everything here that, <laughs> except those peppers. Um, I bought those a, a couple of days ago. It's on the grocery haul that you've seen today. If you've seen it, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. So I'm using about a teaspoon of uh, Old Bay seasoning, okay? Now, these are just my seasonings that I'm adding. And then I'm going to just sprinkle in some Italian seasoning inside there. Now, my regular <coughs> basic seasoning is here okay so my regular basic seasoning which like i told you which would be definitely salt which is this is my himalayan salt so i'm just gonna crack like a half a teaspoon of himalayan salt in here and remember you don't need really need that much salt because the cheese is salty itself and then of course i'm going to add some fresh black pepper okay And my twist on that on that uh, on that sauce to make it amp up the flavor, you know, guys, is here. Ground nutmeg, okay? Ooh, ground nutmeg, and I just like to sprinkle just a pinch of nutmeg inside my my sauce, okay? It, it amps up the flavor. You hear me? You ain't got no nutmeg in your cabinet. You got to do something about that. Get some nutmeg in your cabinet, you guys. Okay? So, I've always was taught that you must use two types of peppering to make the pepper work like it should in your system when you're cooking. Or rather, if you're just using it. So, I was looking for my... I think I got it right. Yeah, here it is. Got it. So, I'm going to use just a pinch of cayenne pepper, y'all. Pinch of cayenne pepper. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's all. There you go. Okay. Now, it might look like a lot of seasoning, but that's okay. It's not going to be, I'm not going to use all this seasoning because I'm going to put it in another glass jar and put it away and right on it. This is seasoned for my Alfredo. Okay. So, let's get started on searing this fish and getting it done. Okay. So, I got me some avocado oil here. You can use avocado oil, olive oil, doesn't matter. Whichever one you choose, I heard that avocado oil is good to cook in, cook with, but even also, as far as I'm concerned, olive oil is too. So I'm using a little bit of avocado oil inside the skillet, and we're just going to sear the fish. But in the meantime, I'm cutting on the water now, and I'm just going to put just a little bit of avocado oil in my water uh, to get it boiling for, the, for that pasta, okay? I'm going to get this pasta going, this avocado oil uh heating up and, see, and i want it to get hot because i want to get a nice good crust on my fish you know so so we can get it get it cracking now we can get it cracking up in here i'm gonna use the same uh skillet that um uh, i'm using the same skillet that I'm using for my fish to make my sauce in, okay? And my pasta is going to go into that sauce, okay? So like I told you, this is my seasoned fish, my seasoned salmon, okay? And remember I told you it was already pre, uh, so I'm going to move this around like that there. 
There we go. It's still kind of a little frozen, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut it down real low and let it do its thing and bring it out back over here to the counter because I want to get these vegetables chopped up so you guys can see what the vegetable going to look like, okay? So let's put this to the back of the stove and let's get it and check it out. Okay, guys. So I found the, I found the bag of frozen broccoli. I'm just going to heat this in the microwave just like it says on the thing. Matter of fact, I don't think I am. I think I'm going to put it in a pan, put it in the oven, and let it roast right quick. And I'm going to use the same seasoning that I'm using for the fish, the Alfredo sauce, on this uh, broccoli. Okay? So let me show you guys that. Okay, so what I did is I just put a little water into the pan, into the bag. Just kind of rinse it off because it's frozen, of course, you know. And I'm just going to lay them right over here on this pan. A little water on the pan, but that's okay because as it roasts in the oven, the reason why I want roasted vegetables, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead instead of searing these other vegetables, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, roast them, 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 uh, peppers onto the same sheet and put it into off in here with the uh with the broccoli I'm just letting this uh I'm just letting this fish take its time and cook okay so let's set this aside and get these peppers together. Okay guys, so I got these peppers here on, on the cutting board. Alright, those back in the refrigerator. And then what we're going to do is, you know, we're just going to cut the tops off of them. And then I'm going to cut them in half. And then, I don't know, I might just cut them in strips or whatever. But because they're sweet peppers, they don't really necessarily need to be seeded or anything. But we'll, we'll get to that part. Okay? So let's do this. Okay, guys. So I got these stripped up. And then what I'm just going to do is just add them on here. And I'm going to bake these in the oven for about maybe 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with some um, extra virgin olive oil. It's here. Spray the vegetables. And if your kids, if you got kids that don't like vegetables, it is all right to post chop your vegetables. You know what I'm saying? Like post it and then add it to the sauce. It is okay. I used to do it with mine. But, you know, my kids got to the point where they love seeing the vegetables. So I'm going to show you guys what these vegetables look like when they come out before they add, be added to the sauce. I put it on 400 for about 10, 15 minutes. Probably less. About 9 to 10 minutes. Okay, guys. It doesn't matter if the fish is broken because it's going to shred anyway inside the, the pasta. So you just want to make sure that it's done and it's cooked well. And so I'm going to add the pasta to the water, okay? So let's go over here. Okay, guys, so I got the pasta. I'm breaking it, putting it into the water. I'm going to go ahead and do a stain. <laughs> so now I'm about to take my fish out. Good. Good and flaky. <laughs> See, I still want to keep a little pink on this fish here. Mmm. Mmm. It's going to cook with the sauce. Okay, guys. Let's come back to the other side. Okay, so now here, I'm getting ready to 
and this oil. I'm going to add my uh, my little pinch of garlic. And I'll just add my little corner of garlic out of there. I love garlic, so y'all yeah, know what I'm doing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add my some butter in here. Okay, so I want there probably be about here's probably about two tablespoons of butter, and I'm just gonna let this thing here saute on up real good and do the same, and then I'm gonna come back and show you what I'm gonna do next. Okay, guys, so got my, see my garlic is broken up now, and I just cut up the eye a little bit more. My garlic, you know what I'm saying? Just a little bit more. <laughs> now, some people add. Uh, cream cheese in there is just for more creaminess and stuff and you can you can do also if you want to add just like two tablespoons or just a little corner of a block of cream cheese or if you got just a regular cream cheese you want to add um, like uh, two tablespoons of cream cheese for cre more creaminess you can you know you can substitute cream cheese a little bit um, or if you don't have enough um, uh, Parmesan cheese, but this this dish definitely calls for Parmesan. I don't care whether it's grated or not. You know, it calls for Parmesan. So, yes, uh, definitely use the Parmesan cheese for this dish. Okay. Uh, so I got the got that garlic going real good. I just wanted to continue cooking because I had it down on real low and then I'm going to come back and show you me adding the cream in the cheese and stuff. Okay guys, so now what I'm about to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my cold milk and the reason why my milk, like I told you my milk was uh, cold, it was frozen a little bit in the back. So, we got that milk going in here and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a little more uh, almond milk to kind of give it a little loose goose, you know, because I'm gonna add a little more of this uh, whipping cream too. Shake it up my whipping cream, y'all. Because it was frozen a little bit back from being in the back of my refrigerator. But you still can use your frozen um uh frozen uh, whipping cream. Okay, so if I had to add, say uh the little dark, dark specks you see in there is my, from my salmon. But if you had to ask me if I um that was probably about two cups of milk and I mixed my milks. Okay, I mix my milk for my uh a little almond milk with uh the uh whipping cream. So what I'm about to do is um season this uh here right quick. My vegetables are almost done roasting. My pasta is almost at the peak of our dente. So as I get through with this here, it should be done. So now what I'm about to do is I'm going to go ahead and season up this uh I don't want it to cook too fast. I got on medium to uh high. I'm gonna season my sauce. You know that mix of blends of season that I just showed you in the beginning of the video. So I just 
put in two tablespoons of that mixed blend of season in here. And I'm just gonna stir it. Stir it, guys, just stir it. Okay. It's gonna be good. And this is good today for a good old hearty dinner with vegetables and stuff. You know. Because it's cold out. We're talking about we supposed to get some snow here later on. So why not have some um salmon alfredo so i just used a whole cup of some great value sh uh shaved uh, parmesan cheese now you can use the, the the grated kind you can use the uh if you want to use the grated that's fine if you want to use the shave like i did that's fine if you want to use the the kind that uh that's uh powdered and, and you sprinkle it out that's fine you know what I'm saying? But with the powder kind, you will probably have to use a, a little more um, uh, and, and get it to the texture that you want it to be. I use the whole cup of this here because I we love the cheesiness, the cheesy flavor. You know what I'm saying? The creaminess and the cheesiness of apple. So as it cooks, we're going to show it as it gets together, okay? We're going to come back with it. See, I'm showing you now how it's melting. See how it's melting? How that sh shaved uh, Parmesan cheese is melting. That's going to look so good, guys. It's going to be so tasty. Okay? So, I'm going to come back and show you me putting these vegetables in. Okay, guys. So, I added just a little bit. Of, I had a little mozzarella. So, I added a little mozzarella that I needed to get rid of out of my fridge. You know? So it was like maybe a tablespoon, so a mozzarella in the bag, so you can kind of see where it's a little clumpy. Why well, I just added it, but then it's not gonna take it long. But see how creamy that's getting, and that looks so good, guys. I told you I, I love for it to be creamy. I love for it to be creamy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to a bigger, bigger pot because I gotta add my vegetables. So let me wash this pot out right quick while that's bubbling. So we go ahead and set our hood. All right. So y'all know my favorite pot here. Yes. Okay, pour it right on in here. Go right on in my favorite pot. Yes. And watch it. Watch this thing do its thing. Yes. There we go. See all that cheese? Good, good cheese. Good, 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 goodness, y'all. That's some good, boogly, boogly, boogly. <laughs> so I'm just going to let this go ahead and cook and get well done in the pot. And I'll be back to add everything together. Okay, guys. So the vegetables are good and roasted. And I'm going to set these on the counter until this cheese get done. Like I told you, I got it on low. And so I'm just letting it do its thing. So, um, so yes. Once this cheese get through, you know, then we're going to go ahead and plate it up. So now I'm proceeding to break up the, the, the salmon, the seared seasoned salmon. And I have a little crisp on there, yes. I'm going to put that skin in there, too, because we love the skin and the crisp of that skin in our, our Fredo, okay? And see how it's getting a rolling ball there? Look at that, y'all. You want to keep consistently stirring it because you don't want it to, you don't want the cheese to burn. So, okay, so now I'm about to cut this down low, and then I'm getting ready to add everything in here, everything. Okay, so first, let's add the pasta. Because you know the pasta has to be coated really good. I like when I make uh, meals like this here, I like less pasta, more cheese. And the reason why is that because I, I always add extra stuff in here, which would be my veggies. Okay, so now I'm going to coat my pasta. Yeah, I'm coating my pasta. So I'm gonna cut this out and I'm gonna let that get to coating. Get to coating. <laughs> and then now I'm gonna add these roasted vegetables. 
<laughs> See how good those look? And I'm just gonna put them right on in here. You could have, like, I, I just decided to roast them, you know, but you could sear them on the stove like some people sear their vegetables on the stove. But I just wanted to roast that flavor right on into these vegetables. You know what I'm saying? And the same seasoning that I use for the sauce, I wanted to use for my, my uh, veggies. So that way I won't lose the flavor, the flavoring of it. Over here, and then I'm just gonna wait. Well, see how that looks, y'all. That looks good. Don't, don't that look good, y'all? That look good, y'all. Don't it? Oh, my lord, <laughs> my goodness. And then we're just gonna go from there and just keep on letting that yummy goodness keep on, keep on going. And And what I'm doing now is breaking up the salmon. I had to take my hand and go in there and do my thing with the salmon. A lot of people say they don't like salmon, but I'm telling you, if you like, if you try it this way, season your salmon real good. I don't care what seasonings you want to use. You know what I'm saying? But I like to put the skin in mine. You know what I'm saying? Because I like the crust of the skin taste uh, inside this hair. And you, you, you can bake your salmon, you can air fry your salmon, you can sear it on top like I did mine, you know. And so now we got that salmon chopped up in there real good. Last time I showed a video on my, on my, um, uh, on my tab from where I made this once before, I made it while I laid the salmon steaks on top. And we ate it that way, it was so good that way too, so... Because I had three little small pieces of salmon, I just decided to just toss it, you know, break it up and toss it in here. And this here, you could call it hamburger helper meal. I don't care what you call it. But just know this, it's called the salmon alfredo dish. Made T-Vlog way. Okay? <laughs> All right. So, that's that cheese. Ooh, it's a lot of cheese, y'all. Jeez, look at that. <laughs> and so now I'm about to cut it on. Put the high back on and let it continue doing what it do. It's done. And uh, I'm going to plate this up so you guys can see it, all right? Okay, so now I'm putting it right on in my bowl here with that salmon. Oh, salmon Alfredo. Ooh. <coughs> and here we go, you guys. There we go. There we go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me try it so y'all can see. Okay, guys. Check this out. It looks so good. Mmm. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. You won't be disappointed. If you're a person that don't like salmon and you've been wanting to get your Omega 3s in and you want to love salmon, you won't be disappointed with this recipe. Look at them vegetables. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I'm good. Okay, guys. Peace in the Middle East. Don't forget to have reason. See ya. If you guys want to know how I made this delicious meal, Salmon Alfredo, y'all follow me over at Simple Meals by T-Vlog. That's right, Simple Meals by T-Vlog. Space the wordings, y'all, and get into it. Love you guys. See ya, because I'm about to eat. Bye. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious.